This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked pretty frequently. Have I ever brought bed bugs home with me? Being that I'm an exterminator, I'm in homes all the time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. So I'll just start this video off right now with, I brought bed bugs home with me. In fact, you probably already know that from the title and the thumbnail of this video. Um, I've been a bed bug exterminator for 23 years. I've been in pest control my entire life. Uh, my father started his company in the 80s. I was born in the 80s, I was born in 81, and I worked for him my whole life, but I didn't do a bed bug job till I turned 17. I got licensed that year, and later that summer, I actually did my very first bed bug job. I um, have been doing bed bugs ever since. I'm 40 now, so that's, like I said, that's where I get to 23 from. Um, it's been quite a long time that I've been dealing with bed bugs. I pretty much had to develop my own uh, way to get rid of them. And now it seems to be industry standard that this is just the way a lot of people do it now. But I didn't really know how to get rid of bed bugs. I had never dealt with them before. And for 23 years, I never had bed bugs. I, um, I never brought them home with me. I've been into some pretty extreme cases. In fact, I'll flash some pictures and videos here right now and show you some of the really bad ones I've been in. And uh, because I like to educate people, I like to show them what I've done. But just so you understand how bad it can be, I don't want you to think that your problem is something that you can't handle. And that's why I show people these pictures and things of, of some of the, you know, the horrible situations that I've been in. And yes, I've been able to eliminate the bed bugs in all of these, you know, places I'm, I'm showing you. Um, so I brought bed bugs home with me. I, uh, I'd never done it in 23 years, but I did, uh, right before my youngest was born. Uh, he is now almost seven months old. He's seven months old in a couple days. And he, as my wife was having problems with, uh, preterm labor, uh, for those that don't know, that's, you know, when the baby comes too early, you know, your wife goes into labor and it's, uh, usually a pretty serious thing. And we were concerned she was having some pains and some preterm labor. And so we had to go to the hospital. And so we were driving to the hospital. Now, I had done a bed bug job that day. That very day we left to go to the hospital, I had done a bed bug job that morning. Now, we hadn't planned on going to the hospital. I didn't think we were going to have to go. She called me on my way home from work. Uh, I was actually on my way home because I had just done the bed bug job. And the way that I do my bed bug services is I usually don't, you know, stick around uh, and do more work after a bed bug job, I usually come home and wash my uniform and, uh, and, and my pants and everything, make sure there's nothing on my shoes and all that stuff because I don't want to track anything in anyone else's house. I don't want to track anything into my house either. I've always been very, very careful. But this was a concern to me because like I said, my wife was going through a preterm labor problem. And so I came home. That was not a severe bed bug job. I don't want you to think it's one of these, like what you're seeing in these pictures where I've just, I mean, there's thousands, if not millions everywhere. Um, you know, it wasn't one of those. It was a very mild, very mild. In fact, I don't even think I saw more than three bed bugs at the house uh, where I brought them from. It's the only bed bug job I had done um, in the, the week or so leading up to this this issue. And it was actually the day we left to, to take my wife to the hospital. So I took my wife to the hospital and I, I well, what first, let me, let me back up. I came home and I dropped my uniform right there at the bed. All right. I, I didn't think I had anything on me. I didn't think I had any bed bugs on my, on me at all. I, it was a very mild job. Like I said, I only saw three or four bed bugs in the house altogether. And so it wasn't a severe infestation like some of these other pictures. And so I just assumed that I didn't have anything on me. That's how easy it is to bring bed bugs home with you. 
Just trying to run that home for you so you understand. But I've, I've, I had never, I had never been in one this mild before and even worried about bringing a bed bug home with me. But every job that I've ever done, I, what I do in order to prevent bed bugs is I come home. Now, my washing machine is the, the room where my washing machine is in. That's actually my back door. So you come in the back door and you're right there at the laundry. So I come in the back door, I take my uniform off, I put it in the dryer, I kill the bed bugs that might be on my uniform immediately before I even walk through the house. I go in, I take a shower and put my day-to-day -day clothes on or I put a new uniform on and go back and do more work. That's just how I do bed bug work. It's how I've done it for 23 years. It's the way I've always done it, except for this one time but I thought I was okay. I assumed that I had not brought anything in on me. It was a very mild infestation. I figured there's no way that I had brought bed bugs home, drop my uniform right here beside the bed, get dressed in my day-to-day -day clothes. Let's take my wife to the hospital. So we went to the hospital. We were up there for two days in Charlottesville for two days. Everything was okay. Came back home. One day passed. My wife looks down at her pillow and she said, Jason, w what is this? And it was a bed bug. It was a baby, a nymph. Probably I had an egg stuck to my uniform or something that was ready to hatch. It was super tiny bed bug. And I flipped out. Okay. I took every single cover off of my bed. This is, this is, now I don't have bed bugs now. It's only been seven months since this happened. Um, I took every single cover, every comforter, every, every single sheet all the way down to the bare mattress and the box springs. Now we, we have mattress covers and, and, and like not encasements, but just the regular covers to kind of protect the mattress from, yeah, I've got, I got small children, small children pee to bed. So the kids beds have these covers on them. So I had to take those off. I took off every sheet in the house. Now I was pretty sure that I had only brought them into my bedroom, but my son works with me. He was in the same house. He took his uniform off in his room and he got dressed. He came with us. So I assumed they were in the whole house. So I treated every room. I treated the sofas, I flipped sofas upside down, treated under the sofa. The same thing I talk about in all my videos on how to get rid of bed bugs, I did for myself. I used Crossfire. I treated my bed. I treated my mattress, my box spring. I treated the headboard, footboard, the bed rails. We have a four-poster bed. Had to treat all up along the post where the wood kind of joins together, where the posts come up. I treated every single bed in the house. My son was born a week after this occurrence. He was born. Evidently, he was ready to be born. So he came at exactly 38 weeks. Um, and we were in Charlottesville for about three days when he was born came home, I was still washing sheets. Because I have a king size bed, my son has a queen size bed, you have to divide the sheets up and wash them. If you've ever had bed bugs, you know, it's an ordeal. I did not launder my clothes. I did not take everything out of my dressers. I did not take everything out of my chest of drawers. I did not take everything out from underneath my bed. I treated the bed. I treated the box spring. I did a standard bed bug job same thing i talk about in my channel all the time i killed my bed bugs i have not had any bed bugs in seven months now i still go out i still treat homes for bed bugs i still have the high risk of bringing bed bugs home with me one way that i try to prevent this from happening is i wear booties when i go into a house i wear booties they look like this all right this this is a used one but this wraps around my boot so that I can walk into a house and I don't have to worry. And then I can take these and I can throw them away in a trash can and not get in the car with these on my person. So that's, that's a way right there. You can keep the eggs from transporting on your shoes because they will, they'll transport on your shoes that way. I wear gloves. All right. Now you don't have to wear gloves when you wear Crossfire, but I've got these gloves here. These are night neutral gloves, just regular gloves. And I wear those. So that prevents them from getting on my hands. Uh, eggs and stuff like that from getting on my hands. So when I'm handling mattresses and, and beds and furniture and I'm flipping stuff all around and upside down, I don't have to worry about getting things on my clothes and I can peel those gloves off, throw them in the trash with my booties when I'm walking out the door. Or hope that if they have garbage pickup, maybe outside uh, their apartment or their house or whatever, just toss them in there. 
And that way I don't have to worry about taking any of that stuff with me. A lot of times when I do a bed bug job, I actually remove the felts, the, the black fabric, sometimes gray fabric on the bottom of the box spring. I will pull that off and in the same trash bag I throw that away in, I'll actually have my booties and gloves in there. And this has prevented me from taking bed bugs home for years, but it's very important that you launder your clothes that you're wearing when doing a bed bug job so that you don't track bed bugs around. I also treat my automobile. You know, I'm in my work vehicle right now. I'm talking to you right now in my work car where the, the seats clamshell down together. Um, well, I mean, let me show you. Let me take this off of my mount. Uh, so, you don't... so here's the chair right here. If you notice it, it, it clamshells together right here. So you want to treat this spot. You want to treat down like beside your, your seat belts over here in this little crack here where the seat kind of, you see how you could pull the pull the fabric back, treat down in there, and these little creases. Everywhere there's a seam, these are places bed bugs like to get into, and of course down around like your running board and stuff like that too. Sorry, my, my vehicle isn't in the best shape. I really wasn't thinking I was going to show this on camera today, but hopefully this will help you learn how to treat your car. So as long as you follow these steps and you're really careful, and you, you like I said, you wear your booties, wear gloves, um, you know, treat your vehicle if you're in and out of your vehicle regularly. Uh, you know, you don't want to infest your vehicle. In fact, a lot of times when I go back and do retreats on homes, it's a retreat that's done because they're bringing bed bugs back in from their vehicle. So this is something that does happen. It does happen actually a lot where people have infested their car, not realizing it. They have bed bugs living in the car and then they're in the car every day tracking them back into their home. So Hopefully this video has been educational. Hopefully you've learned a lot on how to take care of your vehicle, how to take care of your home, and how hopefully not to reinfest and how to get rid of bed bugs if you if you have gotten them. And, and even us exterminators have been doing this for 23 years, dealing with bed bugs for 23 years. Even I have infested my own house, but I was able to eliminate them. There are no more bed bugs in my house. They haven't been there for seven months. And seven months and counting, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this video will help you. And don't forget, I live stream every Thursday night. If you have a question, this video was actually uh, from my, my, so if you subscribe to my channel and you go over to my, um, to the section that I have for the community tab and you scroll over and you look down in that tab, I actually have a lot of posts there that I put for my community. So you guys know um, what I'm doing, what upcoming, you know, all kinds of little sneak peeks and stuff about what I'm doing on my channel. And I ask questions like if I have a, if I'm stumped for what I'm going to do from one for a video, I will ask them like, what would you guys like to see? Would you like to see a video on roaches? Would you like to be, see a video on bed bugs? Vote. And whatever the highest vote is, I do it. So this video actually came from a recent post that I asked what people wanted to see. And the top two were bed bugs, one, and a DIY which is the second. And I tried to put a DIY in this video to show like how to treat a car and stuff. It's not an extensive DIY because I've actually already shown how to treat a car in other videos that I have, but hopefully this video will help you get rid of your bed bug problems. Don't forget, come by on my live streams, visit me, ask questions. If you have a question that needs ads answered now or maybe in another video in the future, don't forget, leave a comment below. I read every single comment. I'm not one of these YouTubers like, oh, I read all my comments but then don't. I actually do. I read every comment that people leave me on my channel. So don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. And hopefully this video has helped you. Y'all have a great day. And remember, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Thanks a lot.